Hello traders, we have a new elected president who will invest in infrastructure, lower financial regulation and lower corporate taxes. It doesn't get any better than this for the market. The Trump rally which started with a huge crash quickly recovered, fueled higher by short sellers who had to cover losing shorts. We did discuss that last week and that really happened. So by the end of the week's S&P 500 gained 3.8%, the Dow finished up by 5% and a new all-time highs. The market will continue higher. However, it's not true for all sectors. Not all will benefit from that. Pay attention to companies like Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, which like other technology companies are now drifting lower. Let's take a look at the technical view of the market. As anticipated, the S&P 500 moved down and was supported by the 2100 area. We are moving higher with the Trump rally. However, it's not going to be easy to move over the resistance. I do expect the market to continue higher. Let's take a look at last week's picks. We had two picks last week. EQT did not trigger, so we do not have a trade in EQT. However, AWK did trigger and is a losing trigger because it moved up with the rally. So we have one loser for last week. Let's have two picks for this week. My first pick for the week is GLNG long over $24.84. It's a Bahama based company, very nice uptrend, very nice technical formation uh, on the daily. And uh, it is a company that is involved in transportation of gas with 24 vessels. My second pick for the week is FDX long FedEx over $185, a very nice breakout formation. This is however, as you can see, the weekly chart of FedEx and as you can see that's a very nice breakout formation for the past three years. Now it's not a trade for the 3% first target as I usually take, it's for the longer time period. I wish you a great trading week and see you next week.